Welcome back to my channel. I'm Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. So apparently, a few California guys want to challenge a few Texas boys to a brisket cook-off. Well, California, here's how you do a Texas-style brisket. Stay tuned. You can see, look at this bark. It's crazy. Oh man, this is perfect. It helps to start with a nice, sharp knife, okay? Oh my goodness. Look at that. All right, so we're starting with an 18 pound Wagyu brisket from Midland Meat Company, which California guys, that's in Texas. You gotta have a Texas brisket, born and raised in Texas, to start a Texas style brisket. So as far as the trimming process, this is not a competition style trim. I'm just gonna remove a lot of this fat and silver skin off the face of the brisket. Just take a good sharp knife and glide it right on top and start to expose that meat. You know, this deckle is really small as well, which is good. Won't have to trim a bunch of it. Just like this. Beautiful Wagyu brisket from Midland Meat Company. Look at that. Start to expose that meat there. Really simple trim. Just gonna take the majority of this fat off. You can stick your hand on the bottom to raise it. Give you a little bit more leverage. You can leave some of it, but you wanna take off a lot of this, okay? So when you're done watching this video, search YouTube for hashtag brisket challenge. You'll see some of the other Texas channels and some of the California channels and their brisket cooks, okay? Now this is a friendly competition, okay? There's a lot of smack talking, but this is a friendly competition, okay? Almost done. I mean, tri-tip is pretty popular in California, but I gotta tell you, brisket is king here in Texas. Okay. All right, that's looking good. A little bit more. Man, this is a good looking brisket here. You got some of the silver skin like this? Just glide your knife on the bottom of it. Lift up that flap. Lay your knife nice and flat. Point the blade up. Take that off. There we go. A little bit more here. So I can't wait to see what these California guys produce for a Texas style brisket. Okay. I'm going to be smoking this in my Yodel Frontiersman. So we're going to lay down some really good smoke using post oak, which post oak is the wood of choice for a lot of Texans. Okay. Here we go. So this part right here is a little thin. So what I like to do is just, I'm gonna trim this off and save it for sausage. Okay, just like that. Just follow that, that cut that we made. Actually, let me grab my my big chef's knife here. Get through some of these bigger pieces. Now you want your brisket nice and round. You don't want any sharp corners. And the reason for that is so that the smoke glides over your brisket. Okay, you don't want any sharp corners or anything. So there we go. Remove this little piece. Looking good. Take some more of this fat off here. And the reason I take off a lot of this fat is because the rub will, will fall off eventually. Once this fat starts to break down, you'll have a bare spot on your brisket. Okay. So I like to take off a lot of it, but you can leave some of it on. It's not going to hurt anything. A little bit more here. There we 
you. And I love to trim briskets, okay? I absolutely love it. It's comforting for me. All right, so got this point that's hanging out here. I'm just gonna trim that off. Grab my chef knife. Again, we wanna keep this nice and round, but I'm not throwing this away. Save that for sausage, okay? So the top of this brisket looks good. You guys can see that, nice and round, no corners. Look at that, just a beautiful looking brisket. Now let's turn it around, see what we got. All right, so as far as the fat cap, I'm gonna trim a little bit here. Got this fin here. I'm gonna take that completely off, flat, and again, save it for sausage. And the reason I take that off, I want my brisket to lay nice and flat in my smoker, okay? Got a little bit of fat here. Man, this is some really good looking fat on this Wagyu brisket. Okay, just take that down a little bit. Just so the brisket lays flat on your smoker. Okay, gonna clean this up here. This point, still a little, still a little bit on the high side. I'm just gonna take that down. A little bit more here. All right, we are good to go. Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you how we season a Texas style brisket. All right, let's season our brisket. One of the binders that I absolutely love to use is mustard. And I believe that mustard is the vice grip of binders. I mean, it just grabs a hold of that rub and holds it in place, okay? So add enough of it here just to bind it, just to bind the rubs. Now you will not taste this mustard on the finished product, okay? I guarantee you that. Make sure you get every piece of the brisket. That way the rub adheres to your brisket. Okay, get the sides, get all your edges. All right, just like that. So sticking with the Texas theme, you guys know we use SPG, which is salt, pepper, and garlic on our briskets. This is my SPG mix. This has three cups of black pepper, coarse black pepper, one cup of kosher salt, half a cup of paprika, and half a cup of granulated garlic. Okay? Now add enough of it, because this is your bark right here. This is your bark builder. Don't be afraid of it. It's a big piece of meat, it can take it. Okay? Pat it down, do not rub it. What I like to do is once I transport my brisket onto my smoker, if any of the rub came off, I will apply a little bit more. Okay, let's flip it over and get the top side. So I'm gonna be smoking this fat side up on my Yoder Frontiersman. I've got my smoker set up so that the majority of the heat is coming from the top down, okay? And the reason you put your fat cap up is to protect this meat right here, okay? So just like that, my smoker is up to temperature. Let's go outside, stay tuned. All right, so we're outside of my Yoder Frontiersman. Now the top left gauge is set at 275. Now I am gonna be smoking at 250 degrees, so once I put the brisket in, I will monitor the temperature and bring that down to 250 degrees. Now with a cold piece of meat like this, it will naturally come down on its own, but just so you know, I will be smoking at 250 degrees, so 
So here's our gorgeous brisket. Okay, point towards that firebox. Now I'm not gonna use any probes or anything like that because I don't really go by temperature. I go more by color. Um, once the brisket is almost done, then I will grab a thermopin and start checking the internal temperature. So this is gonna roll for probably three hours before I even spritz it. I will be spritzing with apple cider vinegar and water. Mix it 50-50. So we'll see you guys in three hours. Stay tuned. All right, so we're at the three hour mark now. Let's take a look at our brisket. Oh yeah, that bark is set. Okay, now the bark being set means that you can't scratch the surface and the bark comes off. Okay, so this is what you want. Now the bark isn't set here on the flat portion, but I can go ahead and spritz. Again, I'm using apple cider vinegar and water. Just wet the entire surface. Give it a good coating. Now to start my pit, I used a basket of charcoal and two splits of wood. I am using post oak today. And I've added about one split every hour or so. So we're at the three hour mark. We're still not ready to wrap. I wanna get that bark a little darker and also get that bark to set right here in the center. So we'll check back in a couple hours. Stay tuned. All right, so we're at five hours into the cook. Look at that brisket. That's the bark we're looking for right there. It's not hard, okay, it just has a really nice dark color. Now, I would like the bark to get a little bit darker here in the center of the flat. So I'm gonna let it go for another hour before I wrap. And I will be using butcher paper. I'm just gonna spritz the entire brisket one more time. I've been spritzing about every 40 minutes or so. Again, apple cider vinegar and water makes it 50-50. Gives me a really good bark and also gives the brisket a good flavor as well. So we'll check back in one hour. Stay tuned. All right, so six hours into the cook and our bark is where we want it to be. Now this isn't hard, okay? This is actually like a nice little sponge, but I'm gonna spritz right before I wrap it. Give it a good spritz with that brisket and that paper a little bit. All right. So to wrap it, I'm using two sheets of 18 inch butcher paper. Just wrap it, cover half of the brisket, fold the edge over, just like that. Pull the other edge over, just like that. Now our fat cap is up, okay? So we want it to end up with a fat cap up. Go ahead and fold it over once. Get your paper nice and straight. There you go. Pull it nice and tight. So my fat cap is down. All right, looks like I had a little bit of camera trouble there. But what I did, the fat cap is up right now. I had a little extra paper here, okay? And all I did was fold it in and tuck that under the brisket. That's gonna help protect the flat of the brisket. Okay, fold these corners in if you want to. Just like that. It's gonna go back inside my smoker. We'll check back in a couple hours. Stay tuned. All right, so eight and a half hours into the cook. Temperature's holding steady at 250 degrees. Now when I wrapped the brisket earlier, the internal temperature was 162, just in case you guys were wondering. Now, it's been eight and a half hours. So two and a half hours since I wrapped it. Internal temperature is 168, right in the center of the point. Let's get out to the side here. 179, so still got a few degrees to go. Now one thing I am gonna do, when I put the brisket back in the smoker after wrapping it, I went ahead and placed it on the side with the point facing out. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this around so that the left side over here gets equal heat treatment as the right side. So I'm gonna turn this around, check back in a couple of hours. Stay tuned. All right, so 10 and a half hours into the cook now. Let's take a look at our brisket. Now, before I open the pit, I have been running at 250 degrees. Holy smokes. One thing right out of the gate, as you can see, the fat has really saturated the butcher paper. You can see it kind of pool there, kind of bubbling there. So let's check the internal temperature. 
Okay, so here's my flat, and it's still not as tender. 203 degrees. Look at that fat just dripping out of that brisket. Okay, so 203 degrees, but it's still not tender. Let's check the point back here. Ooh, that's like butter. So my point is 202 degrees, and it's probing like butter. The flat, however, you know what? It's it's kind of that in between. It's it's still a little bit tough. I think it still can get a little bit more tender. I'm gonna leave it in the pit for another five minutes. Then I'm gonna pull it off and I'll see you guys inside. Stay tuned. All right, so 10 hours and 35 minutes and our brisket is ready. Now those additional five minutes that I left the brisket in the smoker really helped that flat get nice and tender. So this next step is really important to end up with a good Texas style brisket and for it to be tender and juicy as well. I see a lot of people put briskets in the cooler. You don't need to do that. Now you can place this in your oven if you wanted to, just as it is right here. So what I did is I have an aluminum tray and I also have a cooling rack that the brisket is sitting on. I've got these two trivets here. I'm just gonna put that sheet on the trivets like this. And this is gonna sit on my kitchen counter for probably an hour or until the brisket is 165 degrees. We'll see you guys back at that point. Stay tuned. All right, so our brisket has been resting for just a little over an hour. Now, before anybody starts to poke fun, yes, this is a pink thermopin. This is my wife. I don't know where my thermopin is, but good thing we have a backup. So let's unwrap this brisket and see how we did. I gotta tell you, this thing is extremely juicy, okay? Look at this paper. This is a sign of a juicy brisket. Just keep flipping it till the paper comes off. Holy smokes. Yeah, buddy, Callie, you're in trouble. That's all I gotta say. You are in trouble. All right. I'm gonna get this brisket out of this paper. Stay tuned. All right, look at this bad boy. Nice and jiggly. That bar is absolutely amazing. Let's get some of these slices here. Now, one thing you want to do is to prevent it from shredding, and it might shred on the edges a little bit, just lay your hand on top of it. And try to hold it together like this, okay? So just get a few slices. Man, that's got a smoke ring all the way through it. That piece does anyway. Remember, we did smoke this fat cap up. Holy smokes. This is gonna be good. That fat rendered nicely. Okay, really nice and juicy. Now in Texas, we like pencil thick slices, a number two pencil. So try to stick to that size there. But this is slicing absolutely beautiful. Man, let's get one of these slices out. Look at that. Okay, Callie, this is a Texas style brisket. I'm gonna finish slicing this up and I'll bring you guys back. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I've got my brisket sliced up. Now, as far as the flat, I just sliced it nice and straight, okay? And then the point, just turn it and slice it in the opposite direction as you see here. So I'm sure all of you guys wanna see the hang test on this brisket. Now this is a real thick piece, but look at that, okay? Got a clapper. Nice and juicy, okay? Again, this is a really thick piece, a little thicker than what I would normally slice them, but look at that. Just falls apart. This is about the right thickness here, so just drapes over my finger. Solid smoke ring, that fat rendered really nicely. Look at this, just falls apart. I bet you guys can't wait for me to taste this, right? Here we go. Hmm. Man. <clears throat> Man, that is a good brisket. <clears throat> this Wagyu brisket from Middle Meat Company is solid. This is how we smoke a Texas style brisket in Texas. Now this is a friendly competition versus California. 
I don't know who challenged who, but this is how we do it in Texas. I'm gonna hashtag this video, hashtag brisket challenge. I am part of Team Texas, so I will leave the channels that participate in this challenge in the description box. Watch their videos. Again, this is a friendly competition. I talk a lot of smack, but I can back it up as well. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Until next time, Joe is smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. See ya.